Uh, I have no idea if this is going to come out right. Um, pardon the lighting, this is my garage. I'm making this video with a purpose. Um, a lot of people I've seen on YouTube have been trying to get soldier flies to nest in their bins and make compost and all that kind of stuff. I just want to show you this. This is an earthworm bin that I've got and I don't breed the worms for compost. I actually breed them for fishing. Very unsuccessfully at this point in time because the earthworms aren't growing. But what I have noticed is that I have a tremendous amount of soldier flies. Um, an inordinate amount of soldier flies actually. This is the lid of one of my earthworm bins. And just in passing you can see there that's one two, three, four, five soldier flies just sitting around doing nothing. But that's not the coup de gras yet. Watch this. Now I don't know if you can see this because it's black on black. Hold on, let me see if I can find something to point them out to you. Um, yeah, first view for YouTube videos, so please pardon. But back at the earthworm bin, observe. There is one two, three, sitting right there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. That's just sitting there in my field of view. There's a punt load more sitting around the edges of this bin. Now, I'm mentioning this because this is not the first time that I've seen um, soldier flies absolutely invade one of my earthworm bins. There's what I've been doing is I've been using my Bokashi bins. Now I've got buckets that I made myself that I started a Bokashi culture in. If you don't know what Bokashi is, do a search for it. It's B-O-K-S-H-I. It's a, another composting method. Now I've used this quite successfully uh, for making compost. And uh, what I did is I took the remains from a bucket after it has done its composting and I put it into another bucket. And I've been using that to feed to the earthworms. Now the earthworms eat it. They love it. Not an issue. Um, the problem is they breed ridiculously fast when you feed it to them for some reason. Or that's my observation. And uh, very soon afterwards you've got the soldier flies invading. And I've heard of people just having severe issues with getting soldier flies to actually come and breed, um, well there you have it. Try putting some bokashi into some sand and covering it. You know, you'll probably end up with a problem like I've got. No, I've got more soldier flies than I've got uh, earthworms. And um, yeah, uh, as far as composting is concerned, interestingly enough, that hole you see down there in this particular bucket, that fills with about a half a cup of liquid every single day. Every single day. And this bucket is a 125 litre tot. So any of you um, soldier fly guys out there that want to do composting with soldier flies, you might want to consider adding bukashi into your uh, experiments.